The 4th of July holiday is when we see big displays of patriotism with American flags flying and people dressed in red, white and blue. We came across one local man who shows his patriotism in a unique way and you might have seen it on the streets. Tan Trong brings us his story. At its core, it's a 2015 Chevy Camaro, but on its surface are tributes. So far, more than 850 tributes. I've got from the youngest veteran when he was killed in Vietnam at the age of 15 to the oldest one when she died at the time at 113. Morris Arsement calls this the tribute Camaro. For veterans funerals, I ride with the Patriot Guard riders, escort the uh, veterans back to their resting place. About three years ago, he placed on his car the names of U.S. service men and women who've passed away. It started with his own family. I've got over 35 members of my family that has served from World War I to now. And when I put their names on the car, it just exploded to what it is now. Arsmit doesn't have a set system for the vinyl names placed on his car, and military service isn't necessarily a requirement. Stephen Arnold's name is prominently displayed. The Jefferson Parish deputy died earlier this year after getting shot in the line of duty. Sometimes he'll get name suggestions from strangers, and he welcomes them. There's a phone number on his rear bumper for that. People called me, people stopped me. What can it, what can, what does it take to put the names on a car? And I just tell them, and it just, then I started looking and researching, and the database is just growing and growing and growing. He recently added former Louisiana Lieutenant Governor Jimmy Fitzmorris, who died this week. Fitzmorris was an officer during World War II. On Friday, Arsman added several more names. One of them is Lawrence E. Roberts, the father of former Channel 4 anchor Sally Ann Roberts. He was with the Tuskegee Airmen. He was one of the first 6,000 members of the Tuskegee Airmen. He's got more in hand. That's the Nealon Brothers, that the movie was made Save a Private Ryan. Right. Arsement has put almost 86,000 miles on this Camaro, and this is his main set of wheels. So chances are you may see this car around town. I'm honoring the past veterans, okay, because they are being forgotten, okay? And I do not want them forgotten. They will not be forgotten. Morris himself served 12 years with the Marine Corps. As the nation prepares to celebrate its independence, he believes it's our duty to, at the very least, recognize the service and sacrifice of certain Americans who make such celebrations possible. And if you have trouble recognizing any of them, Arsman has a rolling reminder that can help. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. Over time, Arsenic plans to add another 800 names to his car, and he says he'll find room on that Camaro to make it happen.